I love the idea that you're able to enhance your body in this day and age. I am 22 years old. I've had about 50 procedures. Today, I'm having my 51st procedure done, which is a PRP hair treatment. If you can't feel it, is it really working? So when I look in the mirror, um, you know, I, I see someone who put a great deal of time and energy in their body. Um, obviously, I'm not fully done yet. I'm Tyler Divick. I am 22 years old, also known as the Baby Ken doll. Today, I'm getting my 51st procedure done. As a kid, I wasn't as confident as I am today. I was pretty picked on for, you know, being gay or for, you know, being smaller than everyone else. I didn't know exactly what I wanted until I was older and I saw on TV all these people getting all these procedures done and I saw how confident and glamorous their life looked. I snuck into a doctor's office. I lied about my age so that they would give me a Botox treatment. So one month before I was 16, I went in and had Botox. And I just remember bragging about it all to my friends. I took a selfie as I was getting it done and sent it to my best friend and she was like, are you out of your mind? You're 15 years old. You should be buying, you know, bubble gum and Pokemon cards. Why, why are you getting Botox at 15 years old? I would hear my mom's dermatologist say, you need to start it young because if you start it young, you're breaking down the muscle. And once that muscle breaks down, you won't create wrinkles in that area. To date, I've had about 50 procedures. I love the idea that you're able to enhance your body in this day and age. So, my most recent, I did bicep implants. These cost 8,000, 8,500 bucks. Peck implants cost another $8,000. I did cheeks and I've done my jaw and chin multiple times. That cost probably upwards of 13,000. Cheekbones were filler in my butt. That cost about 5,000. Numerous Botox and Dysport treatments. Up to date, uh, I'm, I'm looking at about $75,000. My parents are great. My mom was always there for me. She always let me make my decisions. She never made them for me. Tyler hasn't done anything that's been dangerous, but I am concerned that he's going to do a more physically altering surgery that could cause some kind of a damage that would be permanent. Today, I am having my 51st procedure done, which is a PRP hair treatment. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna have a few friends come over and we're gonna do lunch and you know, I'm gonna tell them about what I'm about to have done. So what we have here, guys, we just have a really quick little spread that we thought you'd enjoy. Okay. Most of my friends are really supportive about the treatments that I'm about to have done, <laughs> but there are a few that I am a little bit worried, uh, worried about what they're gonna say. I do worry a little bit because, you know, just health-wise, like, you know, will he be okay with going through these procedures again? John Wayne. I hope he's done. I hope he finds what he's looking for. He, I think he's perfect. I don't think he should get any work done at all, but, you know, who am I to say what somebody wants to do with their body? How is my hair now? <laughs> Cheers to my 51st procedure! We're gonna go to Dr. Micah Kersher's office. He specializes in this PRP treatment. I've seen his before and after results and they look amazing. This is my first PRP procedure, so I'm really excited. They take the plasma from the blood, they inject it into the scalp or wherever you're losing your hair, and that's gonna regenerate my hair. All right, are we ready for our 51st procedure? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So, this is my blood. Your blood. This is what it looks like before. So, this is the PRP. Mm -hmm. This is the end product from the blood. As okay. You can see what we have now versus what we started with. We're and all of your red blood cells are now packed down to the bottom, uh -huh. and all of those growth and healing factors are at the top. It looks like liquid gold. 
Now, why do you use a big needle like that when you just... So this is a spinal needle, and it's larger, so it's not damaging uh, any of the serum when oh. we do the pull. If you can't feel it, is it really working? Oh my god. So, in a few weeks, I will be in LA, and we will be going to see my hair transplant doctor. He will be drawing a new hairline for me. Frankly, I hope the hairline is probably like down here a little bit, but realistically, it's gonna be a little bit probably right here. As long as I look good, I'll keep getting procedures. If I look bad, I'll probably still be getting procedures because I want to look good. So I'm never going to stop. I don't want those chiseled cheekbones. I want the muscles that you see on the cover of Vogue. You have one life. Live it up. <laughs>